My Life, Part 5. Funny as it may seem, growing up in a central Florida town was quite different. And to a great many people out there, you would think a boy growing up in the mid-60s here in the South uh, would have it pretty good. And the truth is, I did have it pretty good. It was a great time, a great time in my life. I had a couple of great parents. I had some great siblings. And the talent I had for music, to me, was so special. And I didn't quite understand where it came from or why it picked me. I only knew that when I got behind my instrument, everything was at peace with me. Uh, The world was outside. It wasn't crazy. It wasn't wild. And this is what I was meant to be. I didn't exactly know what I was doing or how I was doing it. I just know I put my hands down and something happened. Of course, my mom and my dad, my dad said, we have to teach him. Violet, we have to teach him. And uh, my mother, of course, said, okay, Mario, do whatever you have to do. So they got me some teachers, and they brought the teachers in. And the teachers would come in, and they would show me a piece of music. they put it down in front of the piano. And they'd say, okay, what I'd like you to do now is I'd like you to play these chords with your left hand and play this melody with your right hand. And they would count me off and put a little thing next to me going click, clack, click, clack. And they said, okay, this is the tempo, and this is what I'd like you to do. I tried so hard to do what they told me to do, but it just didn't click in my brain. Suddenly I asked the teacher, would you mind playing that for me? And I won't even look at what you're doing. And I, and I turned away and I walked towards, in fact, I faced the wall. And the piano was all I heard. And the piano player played the piece beautifully, I might add. And after he got through, I went and sat behind the piano and repeated exactly what he did, note for note. Well, to me, I thought it was a big deal. And I said, what do you think of that? Well, of course, like all the rest of the teachers, they weren't too happy about that because... I was playing by ear. How dare me play by ear? And that was the problem. I realized that I wasn't meant to play with music. Music was meant to play with me. And that's how it all began. That's how it began for me. So I went to school, and I had music part of me, but it really wasn't It didn't take hold of me until probably in my junior high school days. That's when I met the first person that really took an interest in what I did. And they they really made a change in in what I do. And his name was Joe Napoli. And he was an interesting little man. Joe Napoli went to high school with my older brother, Ronnie. He would stutter. He would stutter. He, he, he had a problem with, with stuttering. But when he sang, it all went away, and he had a beautiful tenor voice. He took great interest in me and would take me aside and explain me music in a way that I could understand it. And I would sing, and he would sing, and he would say, Jack, this is what you were meant to be. This is what you were meant to do. So I joined the chorus, and... I excelled, and I loved it. For gosh sakes, me, a singer. Now, to this point, my parents really did not know that I could sing. They had no idea that I could sing. And I was 13 years old, 12, 13 years old, and I, they didn't know I could sing. Well, when the first concert came, and it was time for me to sing, Oh, my gosh, did I see my father, the big smile on his face, and my mom sitting there saying, that's my boy. And that's when it all began for me. I hope that when you have that opportunity in your life that you find what you were meant to do, and you have that epiphany, that, as they say, aha moment, I hope that it 
it becomes something as special as it was to me. Because at that point, that's when I knew. I always knew that my hands could work. I, I always knew that I could make things happen with my hands. But when I found that my voice could do the same thing as my hands could do, and even more, even better, that's when everything got interesting. That's when everything got fun. So all through junior high school, I would sing. I would get there in the morning, and I'd go to class. And I suddenly went from being a guy in the, in the regular, regular chorus to being a guy who was in the concert chorus. And we used to go to the high school and sing with the big boys and the big girls. And, of course, I had the big voice. And I was a big guy, too. So music to me, as it is today, as it was yesterday, is so very special. It means so much to me. It is my air. It is the air that I breathe. It is the love. It is the heart. It's the soul. <laughs>